This is a glimpse into my life. Life with Eric. Eric's here. And I'm Kylie. And I'm Eric. Okay, I think we know who you are. Oh. So now that you're quote unquote retired and you have a little few extra time on your hands, have you ever considered taking up dancing? No, but I know where you're going with. I know where you're going with this because, for some reason, when we go out, you like to people that I know that she likes to video me oh without God, me I knowing. Love to and video you dancing of me dancing, but I feel that my dancing has pretty good moves. <laughs> Does you it not? Have interesting moves. Yeah, but you like them, right? You, I have a video of you doing like your your. Would you say I'm a good dancer? Your knees in while turning your fingers. What? <laughs> Would you say like I'm a good? Rolling? Let's just let's just clarify this now. Would you say I'm a good dancer? <laughs> I'm not sure. I feel like you. Are we gonna have to go over this again? Because I've gone over this I with don't, you. I don't think you have the best rhythm. So like you dance to the beat of a different drum in the song. Right, but that, that's a, <laughs> that's a style. No, no, no. What that's makes you a good dancer is dancing to the beat, and you're lacking that. <laughs> it's like it's a different song in your head. <laughs> But is it a style? <laughs> it's a style, that's right. for sure. I, I like to feel that Marcus, my brother, has similar style. I also agree with that statement. And we're both birthed from thy mom. Who is the originator of the style? Right, who is the originator of the style. <laughs> so I think the style is where it's at. Okay. Mom created I mean, it all. you guys have a lot of fun out there, so you, I got to give you an A for effort on the enthusiasm. Right, on the fun part of it, yeah. You make people want to get out there and dance. I mean, some people's hips can... You make us laugh. Some people's hips smile. can move like they're on a, a swivel Yours or a pivot. Yours is, is not Ours that. Ours just kind of go one way. Right. You're, it's they like, go side, they go front to back, side <laughs> to side. That's about it. <laughs> and a little stiff. You are a little stiff. Right. Like, where do you think of these dance moves also? They just come to you and you well, do them? Well, you have to feel them. And then you just hear feeling. You feel you them. You feel it. Okay. Yes. And the reason we know this is because last night we went to the gala. Gala number two. Gala number that two. That we actually were able to dance at because I didn't have to leave early. Yeah. Kylie didn't have a u- utery UTI. Track infection, whatever it's called. Just call it a UTI. U- what it? Urinary tract infection. Yes. She did not have that this week. So go note that down on the record. You did not have that this week. Well, I did right? have it, but my antibiotics kicked in, and I, so I no longer have it. You're a big hit at the gala. Actually, oh I don't know my if, god! I don't, I don't know think if you I were was. a big hit, but I your, think my boobs. Your were boobs big were a big hit. She was wearing this like housewife esque. It outfit. was a tuxedo dress, right? But a tuxedo dress, low cut in the front, showed some cleavage. Yes, and I have a lot to show. Yeah, a little cleavage. I'm not. I'm not. Nice hang. Little hang. Okay, that's. Little. Well, I mean, <laughs> that's more than cleavage when you can see the hang. Oh right, it did. Like dipped, I, I it watched did, TV. It did dip low, so I could not wear a bra. Yeah, I watched TV. I know what happens. What does that mean? You watch TV. Well, when you, you also watch, watch you... Naked and Afraid. You see a lot of hang. <laughs> Those are kind of blurred out, though. You got to use your imagination. <laughs> this is no imagination needed. <laughs> this... No, I watch a lot of Vanderpump, and yes, I watch a lot do. of Housewives. Yes. I don't watch Housewives, but you it's have always to walk on. In the room. I watch even what's that uh, Playboy show you watch? Oh, uh, Girls Next Door. Yeah, Girls Next Door. Some yeah, all that. But all their boobs are usually they don't fake. hang out there. Yeah. Yeah. The one girl on Girl Next Door. She has real boobs, yeah. One of them does. Right. Bridget. Okay. If that's, I mean, how did you know? Because you see the little hang, right? Well, and she says. Oh, and she said. She's like, I do not have fake boobs. Oh. She likes to make sure people know. Right. So Kylie gets a little drunk and everything. She likes to show these things off. Right. And the funniest thing she did, I thought was really funny. I think everyone She took somebody's cell phone. No, it was my own cell phone. Oh, your own cell phone. And you put it in between your cleavage and recorded everybody. And I turned it so the camera was facing out. And so you could dance into my boobs at watch yourself dancing. It was a boob cam. Yeah. And it was real fun. They should start doing that at parties. It was pretty. Everyone seemed to enjoy it. From now on, every party. Not even this, our party that we were with. (laughs) Every party that we have, including next week, your birthday party, you're having one. Yeah, it's a boob cam. A boob cam. Everybody will really get there. And then um, our sister-in-law, Mel, I didn't know she was that drunk until I watched the boob cam (laughs) video. And then I really knew. I was like, oh my God. She is hammered. She was Mel whipping her hair fun. and everything. Oh, she had like a head whip in yeah. there? I heard through the grapevine that she is not feeling well, very well today. Uh, I think she's doing better as of now. <laughs> it's taken most of the day, though. And now it's like 4 o'clock. Right. I mean, <laughs> we were moving a little slow earlier as right. well. But it was dressed up. You want to know how I know that we're kind of hungover? If you know that we were bad. I? I can't tell. I mean, I wasn't really either, but it's kind of like okay. how we drank a lot and we're moving a little slow. Yeah, why? Because we have coffee left in the coffee pot. And that's Sunday, how I know. That's how I know. Yep. 
Why wouldn't we drink coffee? I though? don't know. I think and the, and on Sunday you're right. We usually kind of uh-huh. drink coffee drink till a almost whole pot noon. Of coffee. You yeah. know, like we're always just oh, it's there's still coffee left. Let's have another cup of coffee. Another yeah, cup of no. Coffee. Whenever we drink excessively, we don't really drink as much well, coffee. I filled up a whole water bottle with a liquid IV. Did you, did you drink that? Yeah. Oh, good job. I drank all because my everything was feeling swollen on me. Uh yeah, because well, you were probably a little dehydrated. Right. But I didn't feel all that drunk. But I had a good time. I had a really good time. It was a lot of fun. We we have a good little crowd we go with and everything. Right. So. We had a blast. Yeah. So that was good. And um, uh, I heard that Mark and Mel, they always bid on this parking space. And apparently it was over the internet now. And they got it. Yeah. They won. That's like the trend now. They won it again. As you do these things, bids over. Aislinn's was like that too. They do like a bid over to the phone. Oh. Well, they yeah. had a live auction though. They did both. Wait. They had a live auction over the phone? No. Where There's, was but, the live auction? At Aislinn's? Oh are no! You, I thought you meant Mark and Mel's. Geez, Sorry, Louise. I thought you meant Mark and Mel's. No, they had I was like, "Wait, did they miss that?" Yeah, I mean, they, no, yes, but they did like this. The stuff at the silent auction table was like over the phone. You bid. That's how you bid. You that's write the your name down. Auction. Yeah, I don't like that. This is the person out personality. But I think that's what auction. Mark and Mel's all did was like that silent auction over the phone thing. That's stupid. I know. It's a lot funner to write down. I and, agree. And, and it makes see, you more involved. And see who's bidding. Right. See who you can bump out of the way. Yeah. Who bump you out of the way. Like or you blow see some, away with your ass. You see some weird person bidding on something. You're like, oh, my God. This, like, this like, you know, grown man's bidding on Beanie Babies or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> you're just like, oh, this is the weirdest Were thing I've ever seen. Were you looking at those? Is that what? No, I didn't even look at anything. <laughs> I didn't look at anything. Or you just see, like, right. you know, um, uh, you know. A grown ass woman bidding on a on a, a keg of beer, a beer bong, or something like that. Like, what's wrong just, with bidding on a beer bong? I mean, just I something that doesn't go with a woman, <laughs> but, you know, except you. I have my own beer bong. Yeah, I know, but those are college days. That's when right. you're a man. I was a man. I mean, I might have been. You beer bong like a man. <laughs> do you or do you not? I do, or I did. I'm not sure if I do anymore. It's been a while. Kylie, when she does a beer bong, she she does like a power squat, so I her do. ass is like one inch from the ground. Yes. And then she gets like a pumped up face, like she's getting ready to play yeah. some football, and yep. then she then she does a hand signal, like let it go. Let's do it. Yeah. Right, let's do it, and then you get all pumped up and do and it. Just chug it. I don't do that. I can't even do it. I mean, you kind of, you're just slow. Yeah, I don't I don't guzzle like that. Well, I'm that's not the like whole a, point. I'm not as good a guzzler as you are. Well, good guzzler, dear. That's what college taught me. Right, that's what you learned. That's how right. you tell I didn't go to college. I don't know right. how to beer bong correctly. Correctly, course, yes. I did a lot of slamming of beers though, and I did that the other uh, last like a couple chug? weeks ago. You just chug yeah, a beer. Yeah, like chug a you know, eighteen ounce beer or something like oh, that, okay. or whatever they are in the solo cup to the top. It's like sixteen ounces at least. Something like that, yeah. Solo cups are big. Oh if yeah. If you just pour like a twelve ounce beer, it doesn't even take a dent in the solo cup. I mean, it takes a dent, I know, but... but not a big <laughs> dent. Eighteen is not that much more than twelve. Wrote it. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a dumb comment. It's I take okay. that. I take every word I just said back. It's okay. We're a little out of it. See, that's that. Our brains that aren't functioning on uh, top level there. Now next week we're having Derby Day Mayo party. Derby Day Mayo. And we decided that our colorful solo cups are too big for margaritas. Right. We got to get a different size Maybe cup. A smaller. Yeah, yeah, smaller version. That's why we got to hurry up with this podcast. We got to go to freaking Costco. Right. Costco doesn't deliver booze anymore. Doesn't deliver. Uh, never has. Doesn't deliver, never has in Nevada. Deliver booze. So we got to actually go to Costco. Right. Right. It's all right. But um, yeah, Derby Day Mile Party. We're gonna bet on the Derby. Everybody's gonna dress up. Um, that's gonna be like our own little TV show right there. We should film the whole right. thing. We should film the whole just thing. Just put like cameras in the room. Yeah, it'll be like a um, reality TV show. It'd be fun. <laughs> See what everybody says about each other and talking stuff. Talking shit. Yeah, everybody's totally like, t- oh. Everybody's always going to be talking shit about each other and all that kind of stuff. Right. But uh, we think the dog will be good or the dog will behave. Um. Yeah, she was good at Thanksgiving and stuff. And, y- right. and your birthday party. Right. The dog's been driving me crazy because we have a pool and she runs over the cover. I know because she, she just thinks it's part of like the. Like, we had Solid to replace ground. the cover last year, and it cost a lot of money. Okay, because a bear ripped through a 20-year-old cover. Yeah, but That's our dog why. is powerful, man. That thing she weighs 50 pounds. Muscles, and she has those long she, claws. They got trimmed. She's no bear, honey. Yeah. And then a bunch of tiles fell off our pool. And Is that the, Nora's fault, too? Uh, kind of. <laughs> Who knows if they were attached when she started <laughs> running across oh, over the top no. of them. But the tile guy came over and peeled a bunch of grout off. A mortar oh and left it on the pool deck, and the dogs. No, it wasn't on by it. the pool deck. It was over by the tile. Oh, she's munching. She's 
biting it off of the tile? No, he started put, filling up the Taylor Swift popcorn bucket with it, and so she was eating it out of there. Really? That's <laughs> yes. funny. That thing's still around? <laughs> yes. God, that won't go away. So I had to go I had to go throw it away. I left the bucket. I threw Maybe all the, the mortar's mortar. kind of sweet or something. I don't I know. I don't understand. What dog eats mortar? Right. That's insane. But she really liked it. <laughs> I was like, uh, I think the dog has a death wish. I don't know. She eats a lot of things that maybe are going to kill her. So far, so good. I know. She's still alive. She's still kicking. I think all puppies just eat stuff. You don't even, you can't God. control them. And if it gets bad enough, they end up going to the doctor. But I don't. Or just dying in a corner of the yard because they ate pool chlorine. Right. I would not leave that out, <laughs> by the way, because that's next to go. I know. There was one thing last week that I was. I really wanted to get to, and I had it on my notes, and I never got to it because okay. it was one of the greatest stories I've ever heard on the news. It was a breakthrough story <laughs> that I've <laughs> ever heard, and it was on local news, by the way, <laughs> and it happened in South Tahoe. Yes, it did. This was unbelievable, <laughs> and I I, I was killing, kicking myself in the ass that I didn't bring it up last <laughs> week. I'm like, why wouldn't I? It's right on my notes in front of me, and I just – a lot of times I have these notes that have just – a lot of times every week. And I, <laughs> lots of times I don't look at them. We just talk. I mean, that's good. That's I've, just what we do. There was a time where you like felt like you had to look them and check out the boxes and well, you stopped listening to Because it's harder to do a podcast than you think. It's You have to you know keep things flowing and stuff. Like if you didn't have me, you would just sit there that's and not true. stare. That's not true. I prompt you, then you say these one-liners. If you didn't have me, you would just blow, read your notes off and be done in five minutes. If I didn't have you, I would never do this podcast because <laughs> it'd be horrible. <laughs> you... I mean, I'm funny, but you make me more funny. I think that I do. You're funny. People Anywho. say you're funny. I don't hear, ever hear what you have to say. But people <laughs> you're never people listen say to me. People say you're really funny. Half the time, they're like, "You do you speak during the podcast? I don't think Kylie says anything. Yeah, I don't hear you until I listen back. <laughs> <laughs> so there's this guy. Yes. It was all over the news, at least the local news. So he goes in South Tahoe, and he break in, breaks and entering. Breaking house. and entering. Breaking and entering two, a house. Two different houses two that different, he got caught at. God knows how many different others. houses. But the guy didn't steal anything. He did not. Nor he, did he rape anybody. Nor did he rape anybody. He didn't, he didn't you know, hold a gun to anybody's nope. head. But he massaged the woman's <laughs> feet. He would break in and massage their feet. <laughs> how great is that? It's like your dream. <laughs> Why can't that happen to us? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want my feet massaged. You want your feet if massaged. If someone breaks into my house, please massage my they feet. They should have to massage your feet. I'm serious. <laughs> that was the best thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> I was like, why doesn't that ever happen to us? Why can't someone <laughs> just break in and massage my yeah, feet? I, I have to ask for that and I don't get it. You don't. I want my, I, <laughs> I had to buy an electric foot massager. <laughs> I don't think the guy should be charged. I think he should be hired. He should be hired. You're he like, should you have a service. He can break have a ser- into my house every night. You can have a foot massaging service. Right. Like, I will pay you to and massage pay my you. feet. Yeah. So if anybody wants to break into my house and massage my feet, I'll leave a $100 bill on the table and take it. <laughs> take it before you leave. It's fine. <laughs> I'll give you a key. That's insane, right? <laughs> that that is- was insane. I've never heard that. That's a new one. And the poor guy gets arrested for breaking and entering, doesn't take anything, what just massages, massages your, the I woman's mean, feet. That would be kind of creepy if you think about it. You Not wake really. up and some strange guy's rubbing your feet. I'm going to start leaving the front door open. You're going to get like so a I, bear rubbing your feet then. My luck, my luck, the guy would come in and massage my feet and then try to jump on me and have sex with me or something. Probably. Right. Something weird would happen to you. I mean, that's not such a bad deal. Do you get a foot rub? No, I just lay there with the covers off. Rub my feet. Right. Just leave your feet sticking out. I mean, maybe they can give me a little ass massage too. Oh they're boy. At it. I don't want a guy, maybe a girl. I don't think many girls want to to break in and massage a man's foot. What do you think? That's like the fetish that this guy had. Yes, Did he I have do. Like I think it's like a foot fetish. A thing. foot fetish and a scary fetish. It's got to be like. How does he know that yeah. the husband? Maybe he was a woman by herself. I didn't get that part. I, like they that. didn't say. I'm assuming maybe he knew that the woman's sleeping because the husband mm-hmm. might get up and go f- crazy or like something. shoot him or something, or yeah. she might. That's true. I would just lay there and wait till it's over and then see if anything else happens. There's and a tip on the table for you. Yeah. I mean, I think the guy should go free. I think the guy should start a mobile massage business. And you would like to be his client. Well, I don't want this guy, the weird, you know, you've never had, guy. You've, you've Actually, I've had my foot massage yeah. and a guy does very well. Yeah. Because they dig they in have there. the man hands, obviously. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't believe this guy was Asian either. No, he was not. I think he was very white. He, yes. Just love feet. Hey. They didn't really say. One of you like sucked on their toes or anything Ooh, weird. It like, might you know, have been. It might have been. Like, oh, creepy a, stuff a little like got that into before. foot fetishy. But. Uh, Do you think that he would trim your toenails while he was there? That would be even better. <laughs> that would be great. If you could just give me a little pedicure and Ooh. massage my toes. Like, hey, can have you, you ever had your too? toes sucked? I don't think anybody in their right mind would ever suck my I'm toes. Just letting, but you know. Actually, no. Okay. Tonight, you want to do it? If they're clean, I would, I would do it for you just so you can Tonight. have the experience. Tonight. I'll you clean just got to clean them. I should have done it after that pedicure yesterday. I would advise you not to do that. I mean, I don't really want to. But I would kind of advise you not to do that because. They're gross. Yeah. <laughs> and the other day, my feet. My feet were all like muddy, like all day, kind of, because I took the dog to the dog park and they kicked mud did up on my you, feet. Did you wear flip flops at the dog park? Yeah. Oh, it was a okay. nice day. That'll that'll do it. But I don't know. You know what you were you were saying? Said that Harvey Weinstein got off. Oh yeah. Now I wonder if he he would do weird stuff like that. Oh, a hundred percent. Harvey Weinstein was convicted of actually raping women. Of raping and yeah, and then sexual assault, and they're like. But over- he would he would blackmail them, kind of like you'll never make it in this business. Or Unless give you, a you role have sex- a, like yeah. I'll give you a role in a movie or yeah. something like that. Yes. So they're like overturning his charges, which I don't understand. I think they screwed up in one of the trials, so they're over like somehow. Is that really why I didn't I read the article? Somehow, I just saw the heading and I was pissed. Like they they felt it was an unfair trial and they appealed it and they these you know turned it How over. How is it an unfair trial? You raped people. I don't know. See, and I was telling you this because I was irritated. Well, freaking Trump is on trial right. for something that he said. I honestly don't even know what he's on trial for. I'm not gonna lie. But I do. I know what he is. He what he did. Was he probably did have sex? He would says not right. Oh, the Stormy but Daniels Stormy thing. Stormy Daniels. The I thought the it hook, was like the, that he lied the, to banks or something. Well, no. Listen, okay. The sex worker. More. He wanted to pay her off to hush her off before the twenty sixteen yeah, hush money thing. So he told his lawyer slash accountant guy, Michael Cohen, to pay her off one hundred thirty thousand dollars, I believe it was, and so he wrote he wrote a check out of his business account. Oh, okay. And so there you can too. And so giving someone hush to money is a misdemeanor. Oh. Writing it and lying on your bank business. account and on saying it was a account. business expense. That is yeah. That is more of like a felony, I guess. Okay. But it's been eight years or something, so right. the statute of limitations is gone. So they're just yeah. I, in their right mind, no one would ever try anybody over this after eight years or whatever. Right. It it's just but it's Trump, they don't want him to run. Right. So they're 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 hiding it all. Which yeah, so that's I guess what kind of pissed me off is that new and this is all happening in New York. So New York is doing all this shit with Trump, try, charging him all this shit, can't go which his son's graduation, which I think is wrong. That's kinda weird. Right. But then they're gonna let off this man that has sexually assaulted and raped and how admitted, many women and admitted it. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, and they're just gonna oh we're gonna overturn those charges because we need to put all of our efforts into Trump. Like this seems stupid to me. They don't want Trump to be president. I know, obviously. And whoever but... <laughs> doesn't want it, it I don't know. This so world let's is... let Harvey Weinstein out there to stick his dick in more unwanted pussy. That just sounded wrong, <laughs> dear. Who says that? God. Let's blame it on the alcohol from last night. This is what I live with, people. <laughs> Boy, my ears are burning from that. <laughs> I dare you to repeat what you just said. I don't even know what yeah, you said. Just even know what you said. I do know what I said. <laughs> do you want me to repeat it? That would never. <laughs> that would never be. That would never be allowed on the radio. This, this oh, is a podcast. Absolutely not. But this is a podcast. Right, an explicit one at that. <laughs> In the old days, yeah, you just you, you didn't have podcasts, and you didn't have. You had like a transistor radio. Well, I mean, I'm not that. I'm not that <laughs> old. I'm, I'm talking if you just had like regular. Cable TV. Oh my god, you couldn't say anything. Yeah, you had to have like HBO. A special what I find, thing or yeah, is you know? funny is that you can say like, bitch, and like, certain things. Like you can say ass, but you can't say like asshole. You can say goddamn it, right? Uh, yeah, and I think you can't say shit. It's like no, weird. You can't say that. Yeah, but you can say bitch and like ass. <laughs> right. You, you can't, can't say, say asshole. No, you can't put them yeah, together. Yeah, it's like the weirdest There's things whole, they allow I mean, and don't allow, and I don't did, understand it. Howard Stern, before he went to Sirius or satellite radio, went over that all the time. He would say the words he could possibly say and say words that rhymed with the words. Ah, uh, yes. You know, <laughs> instead of like asshole, they would say like, you know, pie hole or something like that, or just something like that to make it sound like it. But, yes. Yeah, so I don't know. But now with, uh, you know, podcasts and all that stuff, you can say whatever you want Free as long as you're listed on a radio. Explicit, right. You know, we're listed explicit on our podcast, but but a lot of people aren't listed as explicit, but they are. 
I know I don't understand that. Doesn't they like if you play one little speck of a music YouTube YouTube gets you. Oh so my god! Can't they get if you say cuss words or something like that or adult content? Mm-hmm. But I, know I, who I, I, I always want to say we're adult content because we are. I, mean, we're I would here say just... yes. I would say do not let your children listen to this podcast. Why? I guess I'm. I mean, children. I guess yeah. Who wants yeah. to? Who's gonna I... listen to it anyway? Like that. I mean, I don't think they would. I would say don't let them, even if they do want to. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. People people and their kids these days. We've been getting a lot of action on the on the internet. I don't know why we've been talking about people and their kids or whatnot. And, and me and you don't have any kids together. I mean, I have three kids and you're and you're you've been around since they've been little, but Right. Um you know, it, it's just weird. People are like I don't want to let little um little Susie out because uh, she might get abducted and there's too many pedophiles out there. Yet I think these days the same amount of pedophiles out there as there used to be. Oh, just for sure. we know about them all, right? Well, yes. You know, so people are just, you know, helicopter parents. Um, what Absolutely. do you call that? Um, snowplow? What, if, what is it? Oh, bulldozer? That? Bulldozer parents. Bulldozer parents. Yeah. Um, but I was talking to a friend of mine. I won't mention any names, but he was interviewing like a 21-year-old girl for a job. Right. And the girl brought her mom to the interview. I have so many comments on this. But the So the guy the guy says, well, mm-hmm. maybe, oh, maybe her car was broken down. Her mom Strap just brought her. her and starts waiting. Yeah, yeah. just going to wait for her to do the interview. So the mom just stays around. He's like, During okay. the whole interview process. And he's like, right? yeah, yeah. I mean, the beginning like, of never it. leaves her alone with yeah, him. right. Okay. And then so he says, well, why don't I show you around the place? I'll show you a couple things yeah, and how we do is, things yeah. or whatever. So he starts going away. The mom starts coming. She's oh my like, God. And, then, and he's like, oh, I, I got this or whatever. Like, I, 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 yeah. She can come and by herself. It's fine. I'm going to be your boss, right? Right. She's and the mom be, says, yeah. are you okay to be with him alone? And if, so he's like, are you fucking kidding me in the head? Like, okay. I'm not going to hire this person. Why would I hire this person? If she got the job, she'd be alone with them all the time. Not technically alone right, because but, it's a very but she's also like, twenty one years old, people, right? And and she goes to college, so she goes to college without her mom. Um, I guess. guess what? She goes to parties all the time by herself without you, right? And so, gets gang banged while you're sleeping. Okay, <laughs> just, I don't know what's wrong with you today. You're just going off. You are going <laughs> off like crazy. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what came over me. But yeah, I just feel that there's too much news and everything. When we wanted the news, I don't even necessarily think it's news. Like, because in all honesty, a lot of people don't watch the news. The younger generation doesn't watch the news. Well, they get the news from Instagram and stuff, right? Whatever. And so I don't think it's the news. I think it's well, and I think it's become like this. You know, it's like the telephone game. Like, well, this happened to one person, so it becomes like, well, my neighbor got objected yesterday. No, they didn't. Well, but... there's all these Dateline shows. The, the right. most and famous... again, there is some scary shit out there. I mean, the top ten, the top ten podcasts out there, are crime. six of them are crime, yeah. seven of them are crime. So people, people love to hear the crime and I know I kind of do. All that so kind I get it. But you like can't live your life anxiously worrying about your adult child every second of the day. Right now, in the let's just take it only back to the '80s. In the '80s. You didn't really hear about it. You might have heard some stuff about the news, but you would get the paper and you would see it in the paper. And it happened like two or three days before that. It wouldn't be instantly, you know, something happened. Unless it was really big news. And then, you know, same with sports. People would people would not know the scores of the game until, you know, you watch football on Sunday and you go, you go run to the store to get the San Francisco Chronicle, or whatever it is to look up the stats of the game. Cause you didn't get them all. Oh, you didn't get yeah. all this individual stats and all this stuff. You can just look it up your phone in two seconds. Right. You know, speaking of that, the younger generation, an old like rotary phone, they just look at it and they're like, <laughs> how do you use that? You didn't, that's not right. a phone. That's you a didn't phone. use that. And you know how it's it makes thing. you really look like a boomer or a, or a whatever you want to call what I am. Yeah. When whatever I when am. a person comes up to you and you know you have earbuds in or earbuds they call them. Air, well, whatever. Yeah. yeah. They come air but AirPods or AirPod apples. buds. When you have them in your ear and someone's looking at you, you're kind of just talking and you put the signal up like hang loose right. like a thumb and a or it's a, a pinky phone. Yeah. like I'm on the phone. The younger generation. What? What is that? It's a phone. <laughs> That's not. Oh, they just point to their earbuds like, or they point to their phone. They don't. Yeah. They don't do the. They phone don't know the phone signal. thing. Like I'm on the phone. Now, older person definitely would, but isn't that kind of funny? They don't really think about I that as a phone. I aged myself like the other day because someone wanted to know, like, what phone number or something, and I was like, "It's this is this, like, pound one something, and I was like, oh, excuse me, hashtag. Because that, that's a pound sign. It's a pound sign on a phone. It's a pound sign. Yeah, but we don't really use pound signs. It's hashtag. I know, you don't call it a pound sign anymore. It's a hashtag now. Right. But we used to call it a pound sign. I mean, they still do. So, I mean, we call the pharmacy. They say, um, hit um, pound to hit pound. Yeah, hit pound. Okay, you know, so whatever. they still call once, it a, that. once in a while, I guess. But that's what that's the what happens, dear. 
I know. I wonder if these guys know what a phone is. <laughs> this segment of Life with Eric is brought to you by... 430 National. Great American Storage. America. And Reno Yard. For all your outdoor storage needs. I think they do. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you know what I hate on the internet? Uh, it drives what? me batty. I actually don't. Well, I, you know, everybody hates... I mean, I think most people hate when people take picture, pictures of their food and post it. Right. I mean, some people don't. You know what I weirdly like watching, though? Little what? videos of, like, this is what I eat in a day. I don't know why. I like watching it. They list it or they, they like show, show it? They show it, yeah. Like, I eat cereal and yeah. then what I would eat. How? For lunch and then what I eat for dinner. I mean... I don't think people want to see what kinda, I And they kind of make it, like, quickly. It's obviously edited, so it's fast. Is it obviously people eating really good, though? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're not going to show. I went to McDonald's for breakfast, then Taco Bell oh, for yeah. lunch, no, no, and no, no, then no, freaking no. Burger yeah, King yeah, yeah. for no, dinner. No, no, no. Yeah, why don't, why don't those people show what they eat? I would like to see that, too. Gross fat people. Why I don't they know show why. That I enjoy eat? watching those for some reason. That's weird. I know. But you know what I don't like? People that go jogging, Yeah. they post the results of their like apple watch or whatever or their rings or whatever oh my god like, right i jogged 7.41 miles i burned this many calories i did this my heart rate was this they post it on oh their, got on next, their feed got 7.41 miles personal in today. record personal yeah. record why do they do that i don't, know. I don't do that because they'd be like whoa you run slow someone that we kind of know <laughs> that runs marathons and stuff that that you know we kind of know post like every day her oh I'll, I'll say her her Post of, her, of her how workout. much she runs. Oh, did 13 miles today. Congratulations. Did this today. Yeah, good for you. Did you get diarrhea today? Yeah, good for you. Runners. I ate four, I ate four <laughs> bean burritos. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have four, a Charlie horse? I ate four bean burritos in 4.2 seconds. Oh, boy. And my cholesterol is 284. <laughs> <laughs> post that. <laughs> yeah, why not post my cholesterol on there? <laughs> Today I took my thyroid pill and my statin pill. <laughs> Congrats. Tomorrow I may not die. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no one posts anything negative. Like, I sat on my couch all day and my ass is four times as wide. Right. No way. Why? Maybe we yeah. should post that. Yeah. Like, what did you really do today? Tell Smiley me Smiley face emoji. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you tell us what you really did today? Yeah. I sat there and I drank eight beers Ate right. six tacos from Taco Bell and then ate a double cheeseburger. Ooh. And they were all door dashed. Yeah, two smiley faces. They literally didn't get up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Laughing my ass off emoji. <laughs> <laughs> I drank eight bottles of Juicy Tits vodka oh. and sat here all day. I don't know if you'd be alive if you drank eight bottles. These guys would. Yikes. Honey, guess what time it is? Happy hour? Yep, I made your favorite Juicy Tits Vodka cocktail. Fantastic. Thanks, babe. Love you. And I love you. And your Juicy Tits. Go to JuicyTitsVodka.com to get your own bottle of Juicy Tits, where life is the party. Apparently, from your friend or girl that works for you, yeah, she used to work at a bar. That sold Juicy Tits. Yeah, and that's out west. So I was like, we have huh, to do maybe a little they, research. I gotta on do this. a little. I gotta call Lauren from Juicy Tits and find out. And apparently, Skyler's boss is like threatening her because he wants a bottle of Juicy Tits, and somehow he wants her to get it for him. How? But she's like, I don't have it. I said, Sky, I can order you one or whatever. Right? Yeah. You know, send it off to you or whatnot. But he he really wants a bottle of it, and so he's like sending her threats or something. Is it really that threatening or being so dramatic? Says, I, but it's probably just a little dramatic, but he's sending threats. He wants a bottle of, of uh, Juicy Tits Vodka. How much is he going to pay her for it? I don't know. Maybe don't that's know. what we should ask. I don't know. <laughs> but it can be. It can happen. This can happen. Right. It's not like it's like this exclusive vodka. Right. <laughs> but, you know, I think it's going to get more and more popular. So that's kind of fun for us. Right. And I I, find it, I didn't know anybody that ever heard of it out west. I had not know. At right. At the bar she worked at, uh, uh, there's a lot of there are a lot of them. There's seven of them. Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, give him a little plug, Flowing Tide. Yeah. Bar. But uh, our Flowing Tide pub? Pub? What are they called? Pub, I think. I don't know. I, I laugh so hard because we, grill? I don't we know. meet there after acting class, and so one of the- one you'll, of have the to, you'll have to check out that one. One of the people says, are we still going to the Flowing Tide pub? And it, it auto-corrected pube. <laughs> are we still going to the Flowing Tide pube? Oh, God bless it. <laughs> Everybody's like, not going there. Uh, that Not hitting that one up tonight. Uh, as long as it's not in my tacos or my drink. Oh. Flowing Tide pube. Gross. <laughs> Speaking of pubes. Oh. Meghan Markle. I was listening Wait to Jack. 
then what is this transition? Because it has something to do okay, with what okay. I'm going to say. But I thought that was a funny transition. <laughs> I thought it was a good one. <laughs> Meghan Markle, who I, I really can't stand her. And I, I was listening to this on Jackie. Sh- I'm not taking credit for it. Oh, yeah. Jackie. Sh- it's on Jackie Schimmel show. Thanks for She brought this up. But um, Meghan Markle tried a podcast. Yes. Didn't work. Right. Because you know why? She... She's trying you too can't hard. You can do this every She's week. Trying you're trying too, too hard, hard, and you're not good. Do something you're somewhat good at. Look how great we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stay in your lane. Yeah, stay in your Anywho. lane. Bitch. Okay. Yeah. And so she puts her hand in everything. I'm thinking they need extra money because the royal money's cut out or whatever. Yeah, they don't get it but, anymore. But, you know, and she's they're replaying suits like crazy on the oh, thing yeah, or whatever. Oh, yeah, she's probably getting some residuals. Yeah, resi- I guess. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I don't know. Um, I think from how old the show is, she probably got residuals. Yeah, she but I mean, and, you know, why go be an actress? She was an actress, and she's probably a pretty good actress, I would think. I don't yeah, know. I don't know but either. can't she get a role in 2.5 seconds? I would think so. Because I would think she'd get a role in a movie, maybe. But anyway, so instead... She's sponsoring and the face of jelly. Is it like she's making like her own jelly, though? Well, no, there's a company. Oh, okay. She, a company hires her to pimp out jelly. Oh, okay. Where do you get this jelly? Who gives a know. fuck about jelly? That's I the oddest. Know. Can she make money on jelly? Well, it's like a sponsor. She's taking deal. over Smuckers? I mean, she's not taking it over. I think she's just like a face of it. That's I a don't weird know one. because I don't really know much about it other than I heard something with Meghan Markle's jelly or jam or whatever. I mean, that's a weird one, right? Yeah. I mean, out of all the things you could pimp out and you're that famous and that, everything, you jelly. Jelly. Jam. Preserve, well, I was, I preserves. didn't, I just was like, oh, maybe it's like berries from their compound in Santa Barbara. I oh, don't yeah, know. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. Like fresh I don't know berries. if it is or not because I did not yeah. read farm the to table, at all. Farm to table jelly. Right. But I don't want to buy that Meghan Markle jelly. I'm pretty sure you won't buy that Meghan Markle jelly. No. <laughs> I'm not a big supporter of that. I don't. I don't like the way she went. And I understand, oh, you know, they weren't fair to Diana, this and that. But you really go in knowing what you're you, Well, you're that's what, I mean, yeah. I And I get it. We don't really Look how probably, classy the other chick is. Kate, Kate. I know. We don't really know the whole story, and we're never going to. But I think she went in thinking it was not going to be, like, what it is. But, like, I'm pretty sure they prepped her. Like, this is going to be your new life. Like I would think she kind of knows. But they made her take like they made her take her blog off. They made her quit acting. All this stuff. Wouldn't Harry tell her that? And so like, she like to knew, but I think she thought it wasn't like super serious. Like okay, once we're married, it'll be yeah. fine. I but Harry's always been a rebellion. He's like, yeah, do whatever you want. I'll tell them off, you know. And right. right. So I think they that thought way. that they could get away with more than they could. Right. A little bit different when you're paying for your own shit. Hell yeah. Yeah, and you don't get I me. Mean, you know how many perks they had? Uh, yeah. They never played for a plane flight or no. hotel room. Any or of whatever. their designer clothing? Right. A lot of designer clothing. Yeah. Which, I mean, that was the biggest thing. Heck yeah. But, um, but yeah, they just do weird stuff. I just don't understand why they don't. She doesn't stay in her wheelhouse. She was always an actress before that. Know, stay in your like wheelhouse. Unless she burns some bridges or I don't maybe know. Maybe no one wants her in a but movie. I'm guessing nobody wants her. Because why wouldn't you put her in a movie if you want I'm her in a movie? I'm thinking nobody wants her. Yeah, or they don't want to put her in a movie, and she's not a good actress in the movie. I and like, ah, she's not. She good. was in like a Hallmark movie a long time ago, before she met Harry. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So she had a little decent acting career going on. She's in a hit show, right? A pretty, pretty hit show. So but I don't know if she really is in a whole lot besides that, even like before. So she maybe not might not be that great. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Do you know what I do know? What do you know? A slice of pizza at Coachella is thirteen bucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. One slice. I, I, and I would pay it. Well, if you're hungry. I would pay it over and over again. I was buying drinks last night for 13 bucks a pop. Right. What? I said right. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said eight. I'm like, no, no right. 13. No, 13. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Mine were free. I was a cheap date. But I, yeah, you were. You were. <laughs> um, But if the pizza's real good, I'd pay 13 bucks for just a slice. What if it wasn't good, though? I mean, at Coachella, you're probably just like, what well, if it literally was pizza. like, Little Caesar's Pizza. Right. What's the best, sh- like, shitty pizza? Like, 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 fast food chain pizza? What's the best one? I, I, I like the Pizza Hut we had in Hawaii. You did? That New York pizza oh, we had in Hawaii. I thought no, it was excellent. Uh, I loved it. Oh, the Thin Crust pizza, one? The Thin Crust Pizza Hut was real good. I'm not a huge fan of Little Caesar's, but it's not bad. Little Caesar's, I grew up on Little Caesar's, basically. Oh, okay. Well. Um, round table. I, I like, I like a round I like, table. I like a round table. You know which one I fucking hate is Papa John's. 
You do not like a Papa John's. And it's so funny because I started listening and listening to Nick Vile's show. He loves the Papa John's? And no. Oh, he also he, hates Papa John's. S- something came up and says, what's the worst pizza? And before he, I said it in my head, I go, Papa John's. He goes, He's Papa saying, John's, it fucking sucks. And I agree. Never eat a Papa John's. We got that when we went to Jeff's house one time. Or Jeff no, came here. No, I think we were at your parents' house in Arizona. We got Papa John. Oh, in Arizona. Yeah. We got Papa John's. You're right. And it was horrible. Yeah, it's not great. I don't like when pizza's kind of slimy on top of the cheese. It is kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm a real connoisseur, man. I like good pizza. (coughs) Real connoisseur over here. Yeah. But someone someone famous told me. What? Pizza's like sex. Someone famous told you this? Even when it's bad, it's good. I don't think anyone famous told you that. No, no one famous at all. Definitely (laughs) not famous. One, because you never talked to anybody famous, but. (laughs) That's true. (laughs) But uh, Coachella's over with, and they're doing um, stagecoach. Stage coach I have a friend at now. Stagecoach right now. He sent pictures. And I text him back, where's the body paint? Right. <laughs> I, don't I don't think, think Coachella, I mean, Stagecoach is as crazy. No, I, telling, I saw videos of it. It's older crowd. People yeah. even like kids. I think I it's like the, the, the older person. The old by west, older, I mean like wild, 30s. The wild, wild 30s west. and up Coachella. The wild, wild west, dear. But um, I'm sure it's pretty good. I mean, it looks, like a looks country show. fun out there. And, yeah. And I'm sure they have, you know, it, it doesn't look as crowded as It's Coachella. probably not. Coachella, Coachella has that young crowd, man, and all the sponsors this, and like, all the people. Yeah, this people. place to be. I would actually go to Stagecoach, even though I'm not really that into country music, but they did have Nickelback, which is kind of cool. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, the, Nickel, they have rock bands that play late night, like midnight. Oh, they start at like midnight. Yikes. Yeah. I know Ed went to that. Oh. He goes, I'm going to see Nickelback. But that's He's probably be exhausted. Yeah, so I think back. they do have other <laughs> bands like that besides the country guys, you know. And Jelly Roll was having supposedly a cooking thing oh, with, with Guy, Guy Ferrari. <laughs> Ferrari? What's his name? Freddie. What? No, For- it's not. Yes, Freddie? Ferretti. <laughs> oh, Ferretti. Is that his name? Ferretti? Yeah. He's Italian then, I guess. That's Italian. Yes, he is. Yeah, so he was having the uh, you know, cooking show with him. I hear all these sounds of Nora out Is the dog chewing something out there? I don't know what she's doing. Jeez Louise. Sure, she's being naughty, but. Uh, I hope so. You um, hope so? What's that? You hope she's being naughty? No. I, I Was I listening to you? When no, it, you I were not you, listening I think I was saying something in my head, and I answered it. I hope so. You, Yeah, I said she's probably being naughty, and you're like, I hope so. <laughs> oh, my God. Edit this out. <laughs> I'm, I, that's why we should do the um, podcast on Sunday. No, it's not just Sunday. It's that we drank too much last night. Oh yeah, right. That makes a lot. Of, mm-hmm. That makes a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. So everybody, everybody that heard that, scratch that <laughs> part out. You want to know another little fun fact? What? I don't know why I have all these fun facts. I keep thinking of them. Um, people on average check their phones 144 times a day. I have a feeling you check yours like 244. Easily 500 now. I literally. It's like you don't want me to catch you. So if I'm in like doing laundry in the bedroom, I walk out, I see you put your phone down. And then I walk away and you pick it back up. Because I think I don't want you to see me <laughs> looking at my phone. So I watch you do it like all night when I'm walking back and forth. So you, you walk in, I put it down, <laughs> yes. then I pick or it back up. Or click it off like, so the light's not on. Why don't you see what I'm looking at? Well, you, I mean, I'm down, like down the hall. I can't always see. Why don't you say, what are you looking at? You'd be like, nothing. I've heard you say several things before, and I'm like, well, you you, you look at your phone every second, too. Yeah, you try to, like... Gaslight. You. Right. You that's flip literal, it on me. That's a literal gaslight. I'm like, well, that's not what we're talking about. I was actually folding laundry while you're looking at girls in bikinis. Well, that's my algorithm. <laughs> 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 Once you look at one, they keep popping right, up. Right. Now I, like, listen to this guy, though. He's like... Yeah, get up, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. You're it's the your best guy thing. out there. It's I, annoying. I, I said it, yeah. As fuck. You are a I hate s- handsome stud. Get up out of bed and mm-hmm. give him hell today. No, thank you. <laughs> I love it. It's like a pump video. I'm going to listen to that every morning. Okay, can you do it in your car? I send that to any any of my, like, narcissist friends. I send those videos it's nice. to, they, to pump their egos, you know. They love it. They do. <laughs> that they do. <laughs> My narcissist friends. <laughs> they love they love an ego pump. <laughs> now is everything, everything's about narcissists on the internet too. Oh my god, I know. It's such an overused you, term. You, it's a narcissist, gaslighting. Oh, they're both overused yeah, terms. Overused terms. It's like you're a narcissist. Like doesn't no, make you're not. sense. You're not a narcissist. Right. Yeah. Do you think um Taylor Swift or Travis Kelsey is a narcissist? No. I do not. In my personal opinion. Why? Because I don't think that they are. I don't also know them. Do you think that Tom Sandoval from Vanderpump's a narcissist? Yes, I do. Because he's proven it. Oh, my God. She's eating something else. <laughs> yes. He's proven it left and right. Yeah. Go ahead. Check on the dog. I'll talk. I thought it was pretty cool that. Uh, Tom Sandoval's a narcissist. Uh, 
Yeah, I guess I don't. I don't. Yeah, I'm not qualified to answer who's a narcissist and who isn't a narcissist. I don't. I don't really care. Um, but Travis, Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift were at Coachella, and they were actually in the audience with all the all the regular peeps, and everybody was dancing around them, and and they were talking with everybody. So I thought that was kind of cool. God damn it! Is that what she was chewing so quietly in there? You know how you have those foam rollers that you roll on to get the kinks out of you? She ate the shit out of it. All right, where'd she find that at? I don't know. Well, you must have left what, it out. Did you leave our door open of our room? No. I don't think it was out here. Where you was must- it? It was out in the family room. I don't believe that. You can see where the pieces are. I, I think our room door is open. I don't think our room door is open. Do you want me to go check oh now? Oh, my God. <laughs> No, you don't have to. I mean, you can check if you want or whatever, but I'm just talking about myself now. People are going to turn off. People don't want to hear me talk about by myself on the podcast. Talk about Meghan Markle's jelly all day. <laughs> I got her laughing in the other room even. <laughs> I was going to ask Kylie what her, what her AM morning routine is, but I don't think it's too exciting. What? Did you hear me? I was going to ask you what your AM morning routine is. Hitting snooze about seven times. What do you mean? I set seven different alarms. The most f- six of them I sleep through. And then you get up on the final one that goes No, bonk. I don't. Well, I, what I actually seven do alarms. is I have an alarm that goes off at 645. And at 645, I turn the TV on, which is the news, the local news that then changes into um, the Today Show. And so you, that usually will help my brain. Like at some point, I'm like, oh, like I stop. It like infiltrates. And then you wake up. In your brain. Mm-hmm. Okay. People don't want to know my room routine. I get up fucking early. I you go sing like weird songs. In the morning? Yeah. Yeah, whatever song. I have songs pop in my head every morning when I wake up. Right. I don't and know if why. I am like slightly awake that morning, like I have to pee or something, mm-hmm. it's like you think it's a, a window, an opening for you to like. If you're talking to the dog, it's free game. No, you're if up, I get up to like go up. pee, you're like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "I'm peeing." And then it's like, "Oh, you said a word to me," and it's like nonstop. You just on where you're Once singing, I know you're, you're chatting. Alert. Yeah, but I'm not alert. Oh, but you think I am, and so you go off on. Just, yeah, you best just be quiet. I've literally at times held my pee for the thirty minutes until I leave. You to That's leave. freaking rude. You're <laughs> suffering. No wonder you have urinary infections. You're holding pee in. Right. You hold your pee until I leave, I then have. get up. There have been days. Because if you get up to go pee, I'll interrupt you and just you'll, interrupt you and start talking with you. You'll just talk the whole thing. Oh, what are you doing? You're up. Oh, you're up. You'll tell me like weird things. Like yeah. se- You'll tell me what you're doing that day seven different times. I'll tell times. you that Travis, Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift were at Chicachella or right. something or like that. Right, or you'll be like, I got to go to the yard later and talk to Chris. Like, you just tell me weird shit. Oh, right. I'll be at the yard, then I'm going to do this, yeah. I'm going to do that, then I'm going to do this. And I'm like, I don't yeah. care. <laughs> <laughs> you do. All right, I do care. I do care. I, <laughs> I do mean, I care. do care what you're doing in the day, but I don't care at 4.20 in the morning. Right. A couple things happened this week that were kind of good. I'm going to announce them real quick, then we're going to get off the friggin' air because we got to go to Costco. <laughs> uh, we're going to have Mary Tess on in a few weeks back. Oh, yeah. More or less with Tess, and then we're going to go over all the uh, Vanderpump, the Valley, all the Taylor Swift bullshit, yeah. all the gossip stuff. Um, mm-hmm. um, I enjoyed talking with that stuff with her, so I'm, I'm ready. I'll be all pumped okay. up. I'll start taking some friggin' notes, start watching some TV. And then we also are going to have this guy, Michael Ween, with those funny coasters. Yeah, we don't know when that's happening. Uh, we but don't know when it's happening. We're set it up. Either we're going to Palm Springs or he's coming here. Or we're going to set it up. I doubt via, he's coming here. Or, or, why? It's Reno. It's not fun. Uh, he might. We'll see. He's from Palm Springs, though, and he's a hoot. Or we just, when we go to Palm Springs, we'll hit him up when we're there. Right. We'll see. I'm excited about it. And we're getting a new sponsor. I'm very excited. In a couple of weeks, we'll bring, bring the sponsor out and show you oh. who it is and what it is. I'm very right. excited. Um, very excited. And I feel it, like you just did the announcements like you're at church. Yeah. Right when I wrapped <laughs> it up. Yeah. At the end of Mass. <laughs> Anywho. Go with peace and love and to serve the Lord. <laughs> And next week we'll be having Mary <laughs> Tess. And we're actually going to have it's a. It's not uh, next week, but. Yeah. And actually, we're going to have a, a, a corned beef and cabbage dinner ew, and ew. a pancake breakfast. A pancake breakfast. <laughs> Please meet for us for in, coffee and donuts for, yeah, afterwards. The Knights in Columbus guys will be there. <laughs> and. Uh, for a Friday night fish fry. Bring you for the Friday night fish fry. <laughs> we'll be there. We're going to be celebrating the seven 
sacred sacraments all week <laughs> and uh thursday holiday holy holiday. day <laughs> holiday <laughs> please show up and we'll be giving out life with eric hats to anybody <laughs> that shows up so if you want one hit us up um um and we have these stemless wine glasses as you can see on the youtube on the youtube because life with eric podcast is brought to you by patrilla concrete construction Terra Essential Oils, you can get those from Aislinn Mueller at This Essential Life. If you love this podcast, which I hope you do, please rate us a five, follow us, share us with a friend. You can just go on to Apple Podcasts or Spotify and share the link with your friend. And go to our YouTube shorts because they're so good and we're getting a lot of traction on them. And from there, you can go watch our full episode. Okay. But when you put us up on YouTube, make sure you put Life with Eric and the episode number right. or the Did name of the podcast. Did we come up? It's so weird. I don't know what the deal is. Yeah, it's been like that from day one. It's been from day one. Maybe we fucking suck or maybe it just does <laughs> the way know. it is. Or maybe it's the fact that we sell Juicy Tits Vodka. Probably not because it happened no. from day one. Yeah, that's true. Well, dear. It's that time. Last call. Who are we cheers in today, babe? Oh, uh, we got to cheers Mark and Mel for the invite to the gala. Yep, Mark and Mel, thanks on a for a fun evening. Yeah, thanks for fun everything. It's evening. always a lot of fun. You guys are a hoot, and you always pick us up and drive us. Right, that, I do appreciate that. Yeah, you Uber. Even last and night, you to, had to leave your car. <laughs> I do have to say, because I'm proud of myself, I was actually on time last night, waiting in the driveway. Oh, it was so awesome. It was one of the best days of my life. It's like a when miracle. you're early, it shows you so much respect to me. <laughs> it shows you overwhelming love to me. <laughs> I mean, it if that's me how it makes you happy. feel, but that's how it makes me feel. It makes you feel, feel you did it 100 percent for me. Oh, okay, I did. And but <laughs> I, I'm, I'm I'm to the moon and back. Okay, jokes. I am thinking you're the cat's meow. Oh, I should add, I should throw some things I want I want for sandwich. my birthday then. What? I should throw some. That would have been a great time to ask for whatever you want. <laughs> You're the peanut butter to your jelly to my jelly. Is it a Mega Markle jelly? No, it's not Mega Market. <laughs> Make it market. <laughs> We're gonna go to the farmers market and then the Mega Market. The Meg, what did I say? Oh Mega. My oh my God. Am I drunk right now? I think you had a cocktail. I drink a diet coke, so I think you reignited that flame. Uh, possibly. You're not driving to Costco. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can make it through Costco. <laughs> You're going to end up with a lot of weird shit. Right. <laughs> I can't leave you alone in Costco. Subscribe or follow us on wherever you get your podcasts. <laughs> or just go to our website at lifewitheric.com. And don't forget to follow us on social media for an, uh, updates and a closer look into my life with Eric. To all of our listeners out there, remember, it's always happy hour here. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Love you, baby. Love you.